these are some of the sheds we've found so far this year. In Wyoming, shed hunting starts on May 1st. To most of you out there, these are antlers, but to me, emmer horns. As you can see, when I go shed hunting, it's for mule deer horns. And if I come across an elk or a moose or a antelope, it's just an added bonus. But I'm really after mule deer horns. This is a really nice buck that my boy found. We could only find one side of it. We covered a lot of country looking for that other side. I came across this buck while I was shed hunting. I believe it was taken by a mountain lion just by the area that it was in and the way the nose is crushed. The mountain lion will crush their nose and try to suffocate them. This is another look at the horn that my son found. And again, I apologize for calling these horns. Some small moose sheds, a matching pair. Here's some elk sheds that we did come across. There's one pretty nice bull right there. A couple of pronghorn sheaths that we came across. It's kind of neat to find those. You don't find a lot of them because the coyotes like to eat them. I thought I'd show you what I do to restore shed horns that are a couple years old. To fix chew marks or broken antlers, I use a two-part epoxy clay that you mix and you can feel the chew marks or fix broken points or whatever. The stain, I, I just use a regular stain. I like dark walnut because the darker the horns are for me, the better I like it. Um, the front side of this one was actually in pretty good shape. But here's an example of how I stain them. Now you want to test a little area and make sure what it's going to turn out to be. If it's really chalky, you'll have to get a fine sandpaper and sand it down till it gets the chalk off of there. And then you can go ahead and start staining. But like I said, just do a tiny little spot. Sometimes it'll soak it up more than you want, so you got to rub it. Like the inside of this one was pretty chalky, so I had to rub on it to, to lighten it up. So you don't want to do too big of an area at once. The back side of this horn took the stain really well. They don't always take it as good as this one did. Down there around the base, I just kind of daub it in. You really should wear some rubber gloves to do this. To stain over the epoxy, just lightly sandpaper it. And just keep adding stain until you have your desired color. You can get the epoxy in a taxidermy catalog. Here's a just a before and after shot. Thanks for watching.